The Marvel Cinematic Universe has become the biggest cinematic universe out there, reaching heights that none of us have ever seen before. And in 2023, it's preparing for some big changes, with the MCU starting Phase 5 of its planned expansion. Considering how massive and epic the comic world of Marvel is, there are plenty of important heroes and villains that are yet to make an appearance in the movies, be it in their own movie or as a part of the bigger picture. Considering the power levels and impact these characters have in the comics, their appearance isn't a matter of if, but a matter of when. We're taking our first step in the multiverse with Doctor Doom. With the new Fantastic Four movie being right around the corner, we can't help but fantasize about how Victor Von Doom will be portrayed, one of the most powerful and influential villains in the Marvel Universe. Not only is Doctor Doom a major issue for the Fantastic Four to deal with, but he's also a major player in the MCU's multiverse shenanigans, which could create some really epic storylines and battles in future films. Following a multiversal collapse that was caused by too many assaults on the different dimensions, Doom takes advantage of the situation and creates a new universe, the Battleworld, a mishmash planet made by combining pieces from other multiverses. Why are we mentioning this? If rumors are to be believed, the Battleworld is expected to be the setting for the post Phase 6 MCU. You can't help but get excited. How about a supernatural being for number 4? Ghost Rider has already appeared on the big screen in the past, although the two Nicolas Cage movies had a lukewarm reception at best. Considering the character's previous film arc, a revival in the MCU could be just what Skokhead needs so that he can get the love that he deserves. Especially as he'll be one of only few supernatural characters as things stand. One of the coolest things about Ghost Rider is that the powers have been given to multiple people across the comics. His first and most popular iteration is the daredevil Johnny Blaze, who sold his soul to the devil to save his father's life. In return, he was damned to ride the Fury motorcycle and pass judgment on sinners and criminals. We might see this version of Bonehead on screen, but we might also see Robbie Reyes, who was introduced in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., a movie that is apparently not canon. We're delving into the cosmos with our next entry. As we already mentioned the upcoming Fantastic Four film, we can't help but fantasize about Galactus, the Power Cosmic, and Silver Surfer. Although a key piece in the Infinity Gauntlet comic, the Infinity War saga didn't feature Norrin Rad. The Cosmic Hero brings a lot of story potential to the MCU as he's featured prominently in major storylines in the comics, both as his own free entity and as Herald to Galactus. In his role as Herald, he has the potential to engage in conflict with some of the most notable cosmic heroes like Captain Marvel and the Guardians of the Galaxy. And of course, a Fantastic Four movie featuring Galactus won't be complete without the Surfer introducing himself. And with their movie arriving soon, it's the perfect time to bring this multi-layered cosmic being into the fray. As the runner-up, we have Sentry. Although the MCU has already introduced some major, powerful villains, there's still been a distinct lack of overpowered heroes. While the heroes like Iron Man and the Avengers fared well against the likes of Thanos, viewers are yet to bear witness to a hero as powerful as Sentry. Basically Marvel's answer to Superman, Sentry is one of the most complicated characters in the Marvel comics, with him having a very convoluted history and a moral compass that isn't as straight as his DC counterparts. Sentry's addition to the MCU could open a lot of doors for the film's writers, as he could easily be used as a major threat that the superheroes have to overcome, not just as a de facto god in the new Avengers. Additionally, a solo movie about him could prove quite interesting, thanks to his complicated past and mysterious source of power called the Void. And in number 1, we have the Beyonder. We already discussed Doctor Doom and his battle world, so it's only natural that we discuss the omnipotent force that controls Marvel's heroes and forces them to battle on the planet, the Beyonder. While that was the introduction to the character, he later returns to give life to more of his curious antics and provides a bit of context to his powers. He reveals that he's a descendant of an other dimensional species that has decided to showcase the endless scope of his race powers. If the MCU is planning to indulge in the cosmic powers that be in Phase 6 and beyond, the Beyonder could be a perfect character choice to make for a high stakes battle that the heroes will need to be triumphant in. Considering that he could easily control the greatest heroes with ease in the comics, it's interesting to see how the writers choose to use this character. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. 
Did we mention one of your favorite Marvel characters? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for videos about your favorite superheroes and their cinematic counterparts. Thank you again and see you next time!